What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to share your video with a view only link using SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so for this video's example model, we're gonna use the log house from Kenton in the 3D warehouse if you wanna download this and follow along. But basically, I wanna talk about how you can share a model um, in a view only way. Now this workflow has changed from what it was before. Now previously, what you needed to do is you needed to take your model and you needed to upload it to the 3D warehouse and then share it that way. So it allows you to embed your models, people could download download it, that kind of thing. But now um, there's a better way to do this using Trimble Connect. And there's probably a bigger video that I need to do a little bit later on on how to use Trimble Connect. But basically Trimble Connect is the cloud service that you should have access to as a part of the pro version of SketchUp where you can save a model to Trimble Connect. And then in the 2024 version, there's also a way to share it. But before you can share it, you need to save your model to Trimble Connect. So if you pop this up, you can click on the option to save. And so under your username, this is gonna give you the ability to save this on Trimble Connect. In this case, I'm gonna click on create new project and we're just gonna call this log cabin example like this. We're gonna create that project and we're gonna click right here. And so that's created a project and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save this model right here. And so when we do that, what happens is that's actually saved on your Trimble Connect. And notice how it's going to show you that it's doing this right here, but then because we had clicked on that file, share a link, it's gonna pop up this option right here. And so if you click on the button for create a shareable link, that's going to create a link that you can share and people can use to view your model. And so notice how this is gonna give you a view only link of that model. And so one thing to be careful about is notice how this came in with a section cut turned on. And so there's no way to actually toggle that off in here, which is a little bit frustrating. That's actually uh, that's actually not my favorite thing in the world. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've created scenes with the visibilities you want. So you basically wanna make sure that you've added a scene just for overall. We'll just update the selected style and we'll just call this overall view. And then say that we did want a scene that has that section plane on, maybe in like an elevation view or something like that. So something like, like this. So now we've created a couple scenes, right? Well, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you save. And once you save this, your changes are uploaded to Trimble Connect. So now if I go back into that web browser right here and I reload, it's going to go get the newest version on the server, but notice how now there's options over here to click on your scenes under my scenes and you can get that overall view. But notice how this is a view only link and you can click between the different scenes if you wanna see different things in here. And note that this is pretty locked down in the sense that they can't even go in and adjust the shadows or anything like that, which um, this definitely does make this truly a view only of whatever scenes you set up. So you wanna pay attention to the scenes that you've set up, but you can share this link with pretty much anyone. And so one thing I'm not sure about is I don't think that share button actually shows up in SketchUp 2023 and earlier, I don't think. So the way that you can generate a share only link is by accessing it in the free version. It's just going to app.sketchup.com and that's gonna pop up this window with all your different projects in it. You just wanna click on the option for Trimble Connect, find that project right here. So we're gonna open that project up and then we're gonna generate a share link using this button right here. So we can click on the button for sharing right here. We can toggle this. I'm not really sure why it doesn't just generate this because I don't know why else you would click on this. Um, but you're gonna take this, you're just gonna copy it and then they can copy paste that link um, into their web browser. So if you're using a version sooner than 2024, just generate the link using the app.sketchup.com using Tremble Connect. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about this process. I'd love having that conversation with you guys. I'll link to some other great SketchUp tips on this page, as well as to my course where you can learn more about how to use SketchUp. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.